Greetings, I'm Victor, I'm a flight sim enthusiast and real-world pilot. A word on helicopter controls. Two years ago, I knew virtually nothing about this topic. When I started flying DCS helicopters, I couldn't find reliable information on how the cyclic stick in the helicopter really behaves and how to replicate this behavior at home. So here's an explanation. The cyclic stick, that's the one between the helicopter pilot's legs, can be moved in all four directions. This movement is dampened, usually by hydraulic dampers. On many sticks, the friction is adjustable, so it can be anything from very soft to very stiff. There is no classic center spring, as you know it from most gaming joysticks. The reason is simple. During a normal hover and slow flight, the stick will usually be deflected further aft. During cruise flight, further forward. Working against a permanent spring force would tire the pilot and make precise inputs difficult. So this is what you will find on most helicopters. And this shows that a standard joystick is far from being a proper input device when flying virtual helicopters. Now many helicopters also feature so-called force trim function. It gives the pilot an adjustable center spring and an artificial feeling of a stick deflection. It's used extensively for example on the MI-8. So how does it work? Imagine a normal gaming joystick with rather heavy springs. Deflecting it toward any side will require more and more force. And letting go of the grip will center the stick. Now imagine you could move this center towards any position in the stick's deflection range. On most helicopters, like the MI-8, you can do this by pushing the trim button momentarily. Doing so, the current stick position becomes the new center. Some helicopters, as for example the EC-135, allow you to move the center position stepless by input on the head switch. So force trim allows the pilot to keep his stick centered in any position and gives him the freedom to fly with a minimum amount of input or even hands-free for some time. It also creates an artificial feel of deflection in a certain trim position. Now for many helicopters, force trimming is part of the standard procedure. For others, it's the pilot's choice. I've talked to a Bell 212-412 commander and heard that every pilot has his own preference on this type. Most, however, deactivate the force trim during slow flight and hover. This is usually achieved by pushing and holding the trim switch permanently or turning off force trim completely. By the way, technically, the force trim function is achieved with magnetic brakes or servo motors. So, how can we bring all of this into flight simulation? First of all, we need a stick without a spring. You can remove it or deactivate it by using zip ties as shown here. This, for the most, is the first and probably cheapest way to get a helicopter cyclic stick. However, this does not give us any dampening friction or trim force. Now you could add real hydraulic dampers, a friction adjust or magnetic brakes, but for the start there is a much less expensive way, a force feedback stick. With its servo motors it can simulate quite well what a real helicopter pilot experiences at the controls. There is a fantastic little program called SimFFB that controls and manipulates force feedback. It's specially made for helicopter flight and lets you adjust trim, damper and friction force separately while it works independently and does not require a connection to the sim. So you can use it with FSX, Prepared, X-Plane, DCS or any other game that features helicopters, like Arma. So I hope this introduction helps you getting into virtual helicopter flight. If you want to take your FFB stick a step further, check out my video tutorial on how to extend it, increase the force and add a proper aviation grip to it. I wish you successful virtual flights and many happy landings.